All right, it is 5 a.m. and I got up. I decided last night at the last minute to drive out to this SpaceX launch because it's about three hours from my house. And it's something I've never seen before. And I've never seen a rocket launch in person. So it's pretty exciting. I also decided I'd film it on my new iPhone 12 mini because I had gotten the Pro Max and this time it was too big for me and decided to go the complete opposite direction. I got the mini, so we'll see how the quality is. It should be the same as the pro cameras and everything. I just won't have the zoom camera. And then I brought my nice camera to hopefully film the launch with. Right now it's showing a two hour and 46 minute drive, getting me there around 8 a.m. And the launch is like 9.15 or so, so uh, that should be no problem. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stop at this supercharger though, and charge up all the way. Because I imagine there's like 500 Tesla owners that are all doing exactly what I'm doing today. And they're all gonna be not planning ahead for charging and having to charge on the way back. They're all gonna be in a line at the charger nearest the rocket launch, I assume. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive to the charger closest to the launch, charge up all the way, then go to the launch, and then hopefully I should just be able to make it home from there and not have to worry about it. Also, I started by charging up to 100% last night, and the weirdest thing about this always is that regenerative braking is not there when you charge up to 100%. And it makes a lot of sense that it's not putting energy back into the battery when there's nowhere to go. But it's just weird, because right now, like, I'm letting off the gas and it's still going like a normal car. I'm so used to regenerative braking, automatically braking. Definitely didn't expect this at all. So it's a bunch of nerds. Just a bunch of Tesla nerds going to the SpaceX launch. Just talked to some people about where they're gonna be. So everyone's doing the same thing I'm doing. I thought I would be beating people by being early and going to charge before, but everyone's doing that, and now I have to charge to 80% since it's a full supercharger. So I might have to charge on the way back, but I should be able to do it more in LA, which is good at least. Also, people just keep rolling in. Like, three more Model 3s just came over and parked. This is the waiting area right here. Insane. People are actually doing a pretty good job keeping track. They just get out of their car right away and ask, like, who am I after? or they take note of it, and people are actually doing a pretty good job. I haven't seen anyone like steal a spot or anything, but they just keep coming. All right, so I charged up to 80% because that's what you're supposed to do in these situations. I think it limits you, but I think you could technically go over, but with a line of like 12 people, why would you be that jerk that does that? So I should be arriving at 60%, which means I can definitely make it a lot further than this charger on the way back, which is good news. There's my route. And yeah, we got 48 minutes to go. So apparently I'm not the only one who had this idea. This is like a gathering of the world. This is crazy. Oh, I forgot to go into park. Yeah, it's like a mile stretch of just cars on the side of this road. I have my camera set up with this lens. It's a 200 to 600. Um, honestly, don't know where to point it. So we'll see how that goes. This is the closest spot. The road is closed because the public viewing area is closed for COVID, but kind of seems like people are closer out here. But I guess since everyone's restricted to their car, maybe that's helping. Also, I have this GoPro up here.
I get it now. That was one of the best things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> that was insane. It's gonna be ridiculous traffic getting out of here that I'm about to join, but wow. The sonic boom when the thing comes back is the craziest part. And then seeing it land vertically, I didn't, you can't see the actual landing pad, so you don't know if it actually landed or crashed, but it came down and looked perfect. It's the craziest five minutes of my life. All right, headed home. It's pretty funny because like every third car is a Tesla in this city now. I don't know if it's normally that way. I assume not. I assume it's just because of the launch and there's a bunch of Tesla nerds. But I'm gonna stop at the Oxnard charger on the way back. I'll take some shots of that. Hopefully that's not gonna be crowded because that's a little further. It's hopefully all certain people break off by that point, like people that are up north and otherwise. So hopefully there won't be a ton of people, but we'll see. Maybe there's gonna be a crazy wait there as well. So I just did a random pit stop and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful out here. I mean, I know this is here, but only about two hours from where I live. Those birds are doing the thing where they like run in and try to get stuff and run back. All right, so it was routing me to Oxnard, which already was full. It already said zero out of 20 available when I would get there. So it tried to reroute me to Thousand Oaks to a 70, 72 kilowatt V1 charger. So I rerouted to a different Thousand Oaks one that is 150 and I have 27 minutes to go. It says I'm gonna arrive there with 12% battery remaining, so that'll be no problem. Charge up for probably 15, 20 minutes and then I'll be able to make it home. Also, I've been driving behind this Lamborghini for a while, but it's like an SUV. I've never seen an SUV Lamborghini. I've seen SUV Porsches, like Maseratis. I've never seen a Lamborghini, and so that's pretty interesting. It looks great, great looking car. So I charged up at Thousand Oaks. I got food at Tsum Tsum, which was this uh, Mediterranean place. It was actually pretty good, and no problem there. There wasn't a line. Uh, there were a lot of people there, but I didn't have to wait and then I drove from there home. So if there's another launch happening, which I think there is one happening in January, I highly recommend you go check it out. And also road trips in Teslas are super fun. I don't know why the charging, maybe just because it's different, is actually kind of more fun, even though it takes a little more time sometimes. Per usual, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel for a lot more videos like this. You can also check my main channel out, just Ryan Shaw, which I'll have linked in the description below, where I get into a lot more in-depth stuff about Tesla. This channel is more fun videos like this and little small tips and tricks about Tesla. Also, make sure to like this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.